All right, all right. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about how we track our progress in the gym. And we both changed how we do this recently. We used to uh, do pyramid sets where you would start with a lower weight for maybe 10 reps, mm -hmm. increase that by 5 or 10 pounds, do 8 reps, increase that again, do 6 reps, things like that. But it's a lot more useful, I think, staying, staying with a static weight for mm -hmm. all your sets. So say you're doing 4 sets of 8 reps and you keep the weight the same throughout. So then once you hit all four sets of eight reps, you know that you can increase the weight that your body can handle more weight now. Right. They're, both ways will, will be effective in building muscle and strength, but this is just a much easier way to track, to track, track your progress. Much. So say you're on the bench press and you're doing four sets of, you want to do four sets of eight reps with 225. So you start out, say it's your first day starting with this weight. So you're going to do, say you get like three sets of eight and then on your last set you only get six reps. So the next time you would do the same weight again, 225 for all four sets, and then this week you hit uh, all eight reps with that weight. So next week, what I, how I do it, I usually do, for upper body movements, I'll add five pounds. So the next week, then I would do 230 pounds for four sets of eight. And once I hit that, then I'll go up to 235. <coughs> and then for lower body, I'll do the same thing except just add 10 pounds, just because there's a lot more muscles that are going together with lower body movements, and it's they're just bigger muscle groups. Yeah, I, I do the same thing pretty much. Sometimes on squats, if uh, my reps are a little iffy, I'll keep that weight. Even if I hit all my reps and I don't feel like I was proud, to say proud of the form that I had. Yeah, or it didn't go up as easy as you wanted it to. Then I'll, I'll maintain that weight for the following workout until I hit it, and I'm like, and I know that it's time to go up and wait. Right, and you also sometimes just change the reps, right? Yeah, because if you saw my video the other day, I do four sets of six to ten reps. So what I'll do is, after I increase the weight, I'll I'll get ten reps with one weight, and then the next workout I'll increase, and I'll either go... I mean, I'll obviously strive for the most amount of reps for ten reps, but I'll usually get six to eight for all four sets, and then I'll keep using that weight until I can get four sets until of ten you reps. Get all four sets of ten. And then I'll increase it by five or ten pounds whatever right. I feel comfortable with. I've only been using this uh, progression scheme since I started it back in November, since I started this workout program, and I feel like it's so much it's so much better to track, so much easier to track than pyramid sets. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure that they're just as effective as each other, but you don't really know how much you can lift with when right. you're doing pyramid sets. Yeah, it's definitely a much easier way to track how your progress is going in the gym. All right. I think that's all we got to talk about progression. So thanks for watching and stay posted on our videos. Thanks, guys.